Okay, guys, so more on live loops in Logic 10.5. I can't play piano for shit, but I've just been working on this piano part. Uh, we can use this interaction between the linear side and the, the loop side. Uh, so I've just been working on this. Yeah, now, yes, admittedly, I here's the scene that's playing here, this vertical scene here. Let me just close the editor. That's the vertical scene that's playing, and I played the piano along with it. I recorded the piano into here initially, and then I'm going in and tweaking it. Now, yeah, I could have recorded the piano into the cell here. I could have recorded for 8 bars, 16 bars, 32 bars, right? And this would have played along. Then I can double-click, and I can go into the cell here and work on it. But the point is, if I've got a long piano piece and I want to go and work on little bits of it in stages, just working on bar 7 or bar 8 or bar 12 or whatever, yeah, it's not the right way to do it. So, look, let me just show you how I did that. Let's move this one out of the way. Take the psych range off. Okay, I can't play piano for crap. Right, I just can't. Um, but I'll slow the tempo way down. Uh, let's just hear this scene. I want this scene going here. Uh, like that. Okay, and I've got the piano track here. Now look, this pair of arrows up here, if I click it so the white arrow is pointing this way, this is the active side, everything here is muted. Right? So I do that. Everything is the active side, all this side's muted, but the piano track here, I click its arrow so it's pointing that way. The white arrow is pointing that way. Now if I now cue this scene up here to play along with, right, put the player to bar one and hit record, I can record my piano into here, right? And I'm crap at playing piano, so I'm gonna make loads of mistakes, right? But check it out, here we go. I'll get a counting, because the counting's on. Two, Okay, it was crap, right? But it's here. So the point now is, look, I'm, all I did was hit stop on the space bar. This scene here is paused. Okay, now double click on this, and I'm into the regular piano edit. I've got a cycle range around it. Just the opening bit. Bar one, zoom in. And I want to hit play with the space bar again. Stop on the space bar, move the cycle range over, let's work on bar two. Actually, before I do that, this bloody thing, let's put this in bar when I bring this across. There we go. And back to small. Okay, let's work on bar two. Just hit the space bar again. This stuff will kick in and play along. Okay, it's gone out of sync now because I was I, I had the cycle range not going to the end of a bar. 
had it on a sub beat, so it's gone out of sync with this. So I just stop and start again. Okay, um, just want to work on this climb here, so let's work on just that bar. Yeah? Do you guys go on? I mean, come on, like, all I do is just move, move my side range around. And I can just focus on which bit of the of the crap that I play that I'm editing to correct notes, add in extra notes, and turn it into something like you know. But the beauty of the system is like I can just have my cycle wrench around here, focus on one bit, hit play on the space bar. This we'll just play along. This bit's a bit crap. Let's hear it with the previous bit. Okay, hit stop. Hit stop, go to the next bit. Let's get our cycle range snapped properly. Jump. You know what I mean? You could just, this is the beauty of working split. I can put the cycle range around and focus on any bit of the editing I want while this just plays along. I ain't got a key. Once I've queued it the first time, hit stop, hit play on the spacebar. Play. Stop, tweak, play. So for someone like me or you, right? We we can we can use this, right? To to play in, we slow the door right down, play in something. I mean, look, even if you're crap at playing keyboards, if it's slow enough, you can play some type of lead thing, right? You're getting when you're playing the lead thing, you're getting in just some basic lead notes, which is more about the timing. It's also about the notes you're playing, but the timing. Then you can go in and start augmenting it, moving like quantizing, moving things around, correcting bum notes, adding in additional notes. Like I've added in a couple of like that's a chord sequence there. It's all done. Let's say I work a bit more on it, but it's done, and it's 16 bars. If you know, I could shorten it. I can chop bits out. I, you know, if I wanted, to, I could chop out a bit and copy another bit over, etc. It's all done, and I drop it in the scene. Boom! There it is. This is 16 bars long. These are all four bars, so these will play. Well, some of them are one bar, but the the longest loop in this in this uh, scene is four bars. So for this to cycle all the way around, this scene needs to cycle around four times. Now I can speed it back up a bit.
got another one I did here, and that's with the sax as well. So I'll, I've got two bits here now for 16 bars long. They're both equally crap. <laughs> but I can play those anytime I want. <coughs> but something to note now, it's not playing from here anymore. It's not playing from here anymore. But if I decide, no, you know what, I don't like that. Get rid of. The arrow comes back to this side. Right, select that region. See the white arrow? If it's not over that side click it so it's pointed this side and we go back in and we start tweaking this again and this will play along Make a few tweaks and that's it, it's done. Bring it back in here, drop it in that scene, whichever scene I want, boom. And um, click the scene. Now look, it's true. If I'd play, if I had recorded it straight into the cell, 16 bars, and then wanted to tweak it, the cells have their own ability with MIDI uh, and audio, but not with patterns, step sequence patterns. If I wanted to, I could do it like this. I could uh, go. Well, look, I'll focus on this two bars here, three and four. Now this is the the loop. Look at look at this look at this now. The cell length is 16 bars, but my loop is two bars and my start is three. So this will now cycle around that bit. Yeah, you can do it like that and then go right, I tweak that bit and now I'll move my loop along bar four to six. These two bars, bar four and bar five, up to, from bar four to bar six. Yeah, you can do it that way. But to be honest, it's I just find it easier over this side using the traditional cycle range, I do. You know, just to work on it over here. Yeah, um, like that. Yeah, hit stop, go over here, boom. Plus down here I can put in any controllers and things like that, pedal stuff, whatever I want. Yeah, and when it's all tweaked, boom, drag it back over here. But yeah, I'm just showing you, you can, um, you can do the thing here where you use the loop, the loop cycle here, right, you know. That is bar two to three. Oh, come on. This is bar two. 
So this loop will now just play one bar round and round and round. <laughs> Start, move this across, work on the next bar. You can do it here. Oh, but it's a bit fiddlier. Anyway, it's just just showing you some some like working ways working ways are um, yeah you know now I finished that I can either drag this to from 1 to 16 to cover the whole thing or I could do it up here just make my cell length um, 16 I'll set my loop length 16 and um, so if I put it back out was before just over one bar like that. As I said, I could drag this out back to the start. I could drag that out to the end of the 16 bars. But if I do it up here, just to show you the full thing. Look, start six, starting at bar six, playing for one bar, but my cell length is still 16. Okay. So that means the cell is 16, but it's only gonna play around that one bar, from bar six for one bar. So if I set my loop length back to 16, double click 16, it's still gonna start at bar six. But now my cell length says 21 because it's a 16 bar loop starting at bar 6. So I put it start at 1, cell length 16. Yeah? Start 1. There we are. We're back where we started. But yeah, I just find it easy to work over here. Have this playing and have something. And I can work on the traditional region with the loop, the cycle range, rather. And all that, I just like it, I prefer that. So I'm just showing you some working options. So now it's playing from here. Ignore this cycle. Now this is showing the cycle range here over this, but this is muted. So I can just close that. stuff son right as I said the whole point of doors is that they can enable people who aren't very good as musicians to make music if we could all play great keyboard and stuff we we just all we need is a straight we don't need any of the features do we <laughs> yeah you know we just we just use this we just put a track into record play along play the bass, play guitar and then mix right but the point is these are tools I'm just showing you that like there's this interaction between the two sides I can record into here in the traditional linear way yeah? I can edit, tweak, work with any cycle range and as I work on a section of that thing I'm wanting to get to sound like at least it's not rubbish yeah the, the scene that I play recorded to will just play along every time I hit play it'll just start playing along just bum put this back to this side and I mean that's cute uh, I can take that out cue this scene up cue scene here we go and then you just tweak it 
they stop, work on a different part. All I'm doing is hitting spacebar, move this, work on this bit. Spacebar to start. Get it all tweaked, bring it over, dump it into the scene I want. Bing, bang, bomb, done, yeah? So it's about working methods. It's about using the door to help us um, to do things that we're not very good at. Yeah. All right, hope that's useful. See you.